area bounded by the ellipse 4x square plus 9y square equal to 36 and the line 2x plus 3y equal to 6. We have to find the smaller of the areas bounded by the ellipse and the line. Now the equation of the ellipse is 4x square plus 9y square equal to 36. Can I write this equation as x square over 9 plus y square over 4 is equal to 1? And if you notice the standard equation is x minus h whole square over a square plus y minus k whole square over b square is equal to 1. Now here h and k are 0. Right? Now to find the point of intersection ellipse and the straight line. For finding the point of intersection, we just need to first sketch the region. And because h and k are 0, 0, which means this is your center of the ellipse. So this is the center. If you put y equal to 0 in this equation of ellipse, you get x as 3. So this is the point 3, 0. And if you put x equal to 0 in the same equation of ellipse, you get y is equal to 2. So this is the point 0, 2 right and your ellipse will be then like i'm just drawing this as like this is your ellipse and then to draw this line 2x plus 3y equal to 6 for the graph of this line if you put x equal to 0 you get y is equal to 2 and if you put y equal to 0, you get x equal to 3, which means the point 0, 2, again this one, and the point 3, 0, again the same point. So for the line, the graph is just this line, alright? So this is your line straight line 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 and this is your ellipse x square over 9 plus y square over 4 is equal to 1. Now we have to find out the smaller area right bounded by the ellipse and the straight line. So the smaller area will be this one Right? Okay. Now taking x to be equal to from the equation of ellipse and taking x as 3 over 2 square root of 4 minus y square. And from the equation of this line, the x is 3 over 2 2 minus y. And because the values of x are in the form of y, so the strip will be parallel to x-axis. So this is the strip, the horizontal strip, right? What is the value of x at this point? 3 by 2, 2 minus y, right? Because this point lies on the line, straight line. And from the straight line, I get the value as 3 by 2 into 2 minus y. And the point here, the value of x is from the equation of the ellipse, that is 3 by 2 square root of 4 minus y square. So this point will become the lower limit and this will become the upper limit. And if you notice that y is varying from 0 to 2 right so y varies from 0 to 2 now writing the required area so this is equal to because the limits of x i'm writing here that is 3 over 2 
into 2 minus y and then 3 over 2 into square root of 4 minus y square and because these are the limits for x so I'm writing dx first and then the limits of y which are varying from 0 to 2 and writing dy here and now first integrating this innermost integral so that is integration of 1 is x only so this is from 0 to 2 this is x and then the limits 3 over 2 2 minus y and 3 over 2 square root of 4 minus y square dy so this is equal to integral 0 to 2 putting the limits I get 3 by 2 square root of 4 minus y square I'm taking 3 by 2 common minus 2 minus y dy taking this 3 by 2 completely outside of this integral and now the integration for square root of 4 minus y square is please notice here the formula that square root of a square minus y square the integration is y over 2 square root of a square minus y square plus a square over 2 sine inverse y over a so the integration for square root of 4 minus y square is if you look this 4 to be as a square that is 2 square then this integration will become y over 2 square root of 4 minus y square plus a square by 2 a square is a square is 4 because a is 2 here so it is 4 over 2 sine inverse y over a and a is 2 here so this is y over 2 and then the integration for 2 is 2y and the integration for this become positive y so this is positive y square over 2 and putting the limits from 0 to 2 if you put 2 here you get the answer to be a 0 for the first term and then putting 2 here I get sine inverse 1 as pi by 2 right and this will be 2 so 2 times pi by 2 and then putting 2 here minus 4 plus 4 by 2 that is 2 so I get this to be equal to 3 over 2 putting 2 here this term will vanish and here it gets twice sine inverse 1 putting 2 here so it becomes 2 sine inverse 1 that is pi by 2 and then minus 2 to the 4 so this is minus 4 and then plus 2 square by 2 that is 4 by 2 which is 2 positive 2 and then minus put 0 over here this term vanish putting 0 here this term vanish putting 0 here all the terms vanishes for 0 so this is equal to 3 over 2 and this is pi minus 2 so this is your required answer for this exercise thank you so much